Okay, my name is Milan Gabor and I'm going to be entertaining you with security issue for the next 30 minutes. So, um, what's my story? Um, how many developers are here in the room? Hands up. Okay, I've been one of you long, long time ago. But then I switched to become an ethical hacker. And it's easier. It's easier to break the code than to produce the code. Do you agree? Yes. yes, of course. And this is reputation when you get, when you switch the site. You know, Milan Gabor in the house, turn off your Wi Fi. You know, because I have been playing with Wi Fi packets long, long time ago, you know. Or uh, shut down your ports, Milan Gabor is in the house. You know, or you know, tomorrow, tomorrow listen about the refrigerators on the internet and don't forget to turn off your Wi-Fi. Today, I'm not playing with your Wi-Fi because my cards are offline. So today, it's only a web, web security. But before we start, I have a little confession. And first, I have to thank you. I have to say thank you. What do you think? Why I need to thank you? <laughs> no, because I have a job. <laughs> Why I have a job? You know, because even if I tell my customers and your customers, you know, that your baby and their, or their baby is ugly, I still get a pay. You know, so they're still paying me for do this. You know, and it's really hard. You know, because most of you are developers. It's really hard if I come and tell you your baby is ugly, right? You're not very happy with that. And sometimes I'm your worst nightmare. Why? Because I found the bugs that your testers or your QAs, they don't find it. So that's why I'm really grateful that I, I have so many developers today here. Okay, let's start with a little test. Any testers here? No testers. Okay. Some of you have been to my presentation already, you know what the issue is here. Do you notice something special here? Who noticed something special about this logo? Okay, the guy one knows. Who doesn't see error in a logo? Hands up. Everybody sees it. Okay. Okay. Who doesn't see error? Do you see it now? Does, do everybody see your error? Yeah. Yes, that's a high effect. That's why I'm really happy to be, the, to, be, to be here, because if you know what all kind of dangers, ah, that's a high effect after, you know, after several minutes. <laughs> so, uh, because if you, know, if you don't know the dangers in web applications, you know, you don't see the error. And in last minute, your brain learned that there is some kind of pattern in this logotype. And the next, oh, let's say until end of the year, until end of your life, you're gonna be seeing the error. You see the error, right? Or you don't see it? You don't see it. Okay, ah, here's an error. You see? Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, some people have faster processors, some have slower, you know, so it's, it's not a problem. Let's make some tests. Do you see error now? Yeah. Yes. It's going to pop out until the end of your, until end of your life. OK. What is the current status about security? We have everything this related to security. Although my, some people say, well, there's security is sexy. I, I hear this a lot, especially on interviews, you know, because some of sysadmins or developers they want to change the jobs and come to our place and they say, I ask them, why do you want to change a job? Well, I heard the security is sexy. And also, <laughs> it's not that true, but sometimes it is. So this is security, what everything goes with it. And, you know, this is, this is you, you create this ramp. You know, and you have the users or even hackers who don't give up F word, you know, about this ramp. So they're just gonna go around it 
And now hackers are even more in note, innovative than the normal, normal users are. And if we go to the webcam, you know, what was really interesting, you know, it, it, it doesn't happen only in webcam, it happens everywhere. Do you see where security is? Huh? It's not the first place, no, it's not the middle, it's not before the lunch, you know, it's after lunch, it's at the end. And it also goes with the security development life cycle, right? Who checks the security at the beginning? Well, almost nobody. So, and there are also business cases that security is not important at all. You know, there is one study has been done I think in 2015 or 2016, you know, business sacrifice security to get application released faster. So we don't care about security. We just go to the market. We want to be first, you know, and there are also some, some, com, some other kind of words like return on investment, I don't know, uh, time to market and other stuff. So also the managers, they don't care so much. And there is also a gap because I'm doing a, let's say ethical hacking trainings. I have a lot of people going through my classes from the development, also from the um, system administration, also from the management, also from uh, DevOps, and there is a gap. You know, the sys, sys admin said, well, I don't know what this application does. You know, just I open the port and that's it. Uh, the, uh, the, the programmer said, well, I can program everything, but I don't care about the security. You know, so there is a gap. So this, the point in the long term is to bridge this gap together. Who's from Slovenia? Okay, majority. So you know this case, right? Yeah. So it has been a lot of fuss also in Oslotech and other media. Um, you know, actually you could dump, at least they say you could dump the databases including mine, maybe also yours if you're owning a company, uh, like social security numbers for M shows in Slovenia. Uh, do you think actually the attacker who found this vulnerability, he was using some kind of rocket science to get the, this data? Uh, does anybody know? Because this issue was SQL injection. So does anybody know how old is SQL injection? Four, five, how much? How many years? 20, yeah, 20 years, almost 20 years. And we are not talking about the legacy, about the legacy software, because this portal was, uh, I think they say it was uh, upgraded and updated last December. So it's not all old, you know. And it's really with this case started really interesting point about talking in Slovenia about responsible disclosure. You know? So sometimes these cases are really, really good. And then we have another case. Uh, it's not Slovenian case, you know, but you know, you know, you can read the code, right? So here, if the set user is admin, what's the password? What's the password? Password is empty. And this device, because I saw outside there is also uh, IoT place where some neat projects are, are uh, demonstrated. You see, this IoT devices, it had Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi was set to 8888888. What do you think what kind of device had this configuration and this, let's say, smart developer or smart developers or smart company developed. What do you think, what kind of IoT devices was that? Security? Security? Camera. Kind of. Camera. Kind of. <laughs> $250 worth security camera with extra part of it. <laughs> and, and if you know where to find it, you know, with Wi-Fi, I actually found two, two of these devices available, well, somewhere in the internet because they have been beaconing out the Wi-Fi. You can actually locate them in Tokyo in range like 10 or 50 meters, so you know who's using them. <laughs> okay, 
But we have, we have application, we have stuff, and also we have really powerful moving to new, stronger technologies to authenticate Users. user identities, like biometrics. Because it's just too easy for hackers to figure out user names and passwords like a password. <laughs> or one, two, three, four, five, seven. <laughs> Those are some of my previous passwords. You see, where is the problem? The application or the user? The user, the user. Well, the user, well, but the application, it has pretty bad password policy, right? Because if you allow one, two, three, four, five, seven, it's really bad policy. So we have everything, you know? So and you, you need to be prepared to have everything. So what's in theory? So this is a theory, you know, from A to B, but what is in practice? Practice is different, a little bit different. You have curves, you know, you have obstacles, you have deadlines, you have bosses. And today, what I see as the biggest problem, you know, you go, some people, let's say not, not from this room, I hope so, go to one course, prob probably on one online course, read at least one book with uh, title something for dummies, and they are, they are already developers, you know? And this is also the problems that I see and see, see. Because there's much more than just writing a code. It's you know, writing a good code that is gonna survive. Um, one question, um, what is the longest period that your code was, has been running or is still running? So, my application that I wrote uh, is still running after 17 years. So, when I was in previous job in Hermes Soft Lab, now it's com called Comtrade, I still see my code running on uh, switches. So, after 17 years. What's your? Do you hack it? No, no, no. No, I still use it. What's your? Eight. Eight. Eleven. Eleven. 16? Good for you. So, you know, if you really want to write a good code, you know, you need to take all of these things into concern, you know. Because when we come to the binary arithmetics, you know, imagine that this is this is environment and this is application that you write. write. So you have bad, bad environment and bad application, it still gives you a zero, right? It's simple and. So if you have good, let's say good developers, like you are, and you write a very good application and put it in a bad environment, it gives you still zero. Right? Yeah. Is it so? Yes. Because I have seen really good applications in a really bad, bad, bad environment, you know, pff, blew away. And of course, if you have both of them equal to one, then you have a really good, good, good application. So this is the sometimes, you know, uh, these pieces or these parts are forgotten. And because I normally also see that developers and system admins are really fighting, you know, it's not my problem, you know, it's systems from system administrator, you know, it's from the developers. And since we are doing a lot of source code reviews and penetration app, especially web application pen test, see, that it doesn't matter what kind of development principle you're using. If you're using waterfall, agile, scrum, lean, what, Ever. So it doesn't matter any technology or principle, it's always, it's all, almost always the same. And of course, the other part, normal developers, they are not aware what kind of dangers uh, are out there. So on the user side, you know, some of them think if you fix the user side, then you're safe, but that's, that's, not, that's not the truth. And of course, there's a pressure. This picture is taken yesterday. You know, uh, when deadline is approaching, you know, you just write a code, you know, just to be there. And then sometimes it's really, it's really interesting. And then we have also this beast called Google. Why? Who
Who treats Google as a really good tester of your application? One, two. Yeah, Google is really great. Why? Because sometimes it's not, you don't need even to test it. You just search it through the Google and the Google release that, you see, here. So if you put in Google like just site.si, hack by, you're gonna see who has a bad application and who has a good application. <laughs> because it really finds all hacked sites or hacked applications for you. If you don't be, believe it, you see here are some of the, some of the, some of the cases. And of course, because we have been mentioning also SQL injection, if you want to see what kind of potential SQL injection applications are out there in the Slovenian side, you just, this is the magic word. Probably these applications have, or sites have potential uh, SQL injections. <laughs> it's not that hard, right? And I still get a pay for that. <laughs> Trust me, uh, we had a case previous month we found one SQL vulnerability, not through the Google, but through the Bing. <laughs> Does anybody use a Bing? <laughs> you know, it was really, you know, one application for customer, it was only found through the Bing. Okay, if you are playing with a web application, you have multiple issues in multiple areas. Okay, with a platform, Linux, it doesn't matter, Sun, Solaris, Mac OS, Windows, whatever. Then you have it with administration. You know, where is your backup stores from the, from the application? Because you would be surprised how many SQL dumps of the database are all out there. And you can search it through the Google. And of course, you have all these kind of dangers here. I will only put some of them out. We have been talking about IPS before case and the SQL injection. You know, it's still the worst. Why? Because it can dump your data, yours and mine and everybody else. Search. Has anybody implemented a search in a web application already? Okay. Before, I was, before my talk, I was doing a little test in, uh, in speakers area. I tried to find search pages in Slovenia. Uh, I tried to click on first two of them that Google returned. Both of them, they have problems with sanitizing user input. So both of them have cross-site scripting in it. So is this kind of hacking if we try to put something in search? If I put something in your search, it's, would you consider it hacking? Yes. Why? <laughs> you provide that functionality to me to search. <laughs> okay, talk for another. Okay, the other thing that we've seen also in the web application, uh, has anybody already tried to do some kind of encryption? Your own? No, 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 encryption. Your own encryption, kind of. I don't know. Row 13 or. You don't do this. <laughs> you don't do this. Exactly. If you don't have two PhDs in mathematics, you don't do your, you don't do your own encryption. No, really, because somebody is, is laughing, you know. It's really because I can, I can name you. Well, I cannot tell you who was, but uh, in two hours we broke that encryption that some super let's say, uh, Supermind wrote it. Okay, testing. When we, found the bug, when we find bugs in your code, don't fix it immediately. Think about it. Because we have seen that if you fix one bug really quickly, you make two new bugs. And, but for us, it's good because we still have a job afterwards. <laughs> and especially one, don't use or implement backdoors. Once we had an opportunity to review one, let's say, shared hosting, almost every second application had ki some kind of backdoor. If the user is this and the password is this, he's a super admin. If user is coming from, 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 from this IP, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's he's super admin. I could talk to you in you know, all several hours. I have only 30 minutes and the colleague shows, the, 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 the leader of this track, she, show, she showed me that I only have five, five minutes, so I cannot tell you every, every, everything. So regarding this issue, maybe we should need to go back to the basics or 
we should need be talking to each, each other. Have you been exchanging <coughs> opinions during this day? Yes. Have you been talking? Yes. Not, about security. Not about the security. <laughs> okay, next webcam. Yeah, I hope next webcam is gonna have like whole track of the security in different kind of areas. Because who is developing IoT stuff? IoT application or stuff thing. Some of them you are already. Why is this important? I will not show it. I will not show it, but at least some people are saying that the next, you know, the next apocalypse is going to come through the IoT devices through the mi microwaves. Okay, some hints. What you should do, or we should do, or we we can do it together. Security reviews. Is here anybody that I have been already reviewed his code? No? Okay, there's still some time, but don't be afraid of security reviews. No, it can make you better, it can make your experience better, it can make your code better. And it can pre prevent that you're gonna end up at Slotech or some other top security side there, you know, developers from that company, they cannot write secure code. So, uh, I once experienced that system administrator were uh, actually cheering up hackers, 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 you know, because better for you, it's better for us that you're gonna hack us than the real hackers are gonna do. I never experienced that with developers. So, you know, developers are not cheering up and saying, okay, you know, destroy my code, I really want to uh, make my code better. Normally they're, oh, no, no, don't do it. Okay, OWASP, we are trying to revive OWASP in Slovenia again. Um, there are some kind of bureaucracy uh, issues, but we're gonna be having OWASP, so Open Web Security Project Alive in Slovenia in let's say months or so. So it's a really good start for everyone, be proactive. And of course, please, you know, there are OWASP Top 10 2017. They are now re revising those, uh, these issues. Release candidate one is there, and the SQL injection, so injection all kind of sorts, is still number one. Incorporate security cycle in, in the whole cycle. So this one you should do. It is going to really help the application. Microsoft did it several years ago. They started in 2003, 5, and they needed like 10 years. You know. But on the other hand, you know, NSA released, you know, last week, they released, uh, WikiLeaks released some kind of tools and show that still you can hack Microsoft, Microsoft Windows. And educate. That's why I'm really, I was really happy to see that the uh, webcam had like 500 people running around. So, because it's really important that you hear, talk, and experience also. Um, what other people? What are people thinking? And um, um, maybe going through some kind of online courses and some other stuff, because otherwise, you know, I can be that old grandma, you know, hitting your code somewhere in, in the near future. And of course, it's like everything. Not only security. Whatever you do, you do it with passion. And do you see now error? It's gonna jump out every time you're gonna see the FedEx logo. So, okay. Thank you again. My time is up. It is up. Yeah, it's my it's end of the time. So uh, I'm really thankful. So please write a good code because I will still still get paid, but I will have less work to do. <laughs> because if you write one million lines of code, you know. How much time does it take for average developer to write one million lines of code? <laughs> well, well, you can do copy paste or whatever. What? What? Is this about one year? One? One? Ten years? You know, I have to review. What do you think? How? How much time my, my customers are paying me to review one million lines of code? How many days? You said like two, five, maybe five engineers years. 
What do you think? How much time I have? A week. A week or so. Maybe two weeks. They are much, much more they are not willing to pay. You, you can make a really good project for, I don't know, online banking for like 500,000 euros to 1 million. For me, they're going to pay only two, three, five, maybe 7,000 euros. To look at your shit. <laughs> Sometimes. No, but really, thank you very much. And if you want to switch the job, trust me, it's really fun, 30% of the time. 70% is writing a report. It's the same like writing the documentation. But, you know, we're still enjoying, so thank you very much.